What's going on, everybody? It's your boy John from the Game Dude here, welcoming you to another episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. In the last episode, Kibo gave us a heart attack. Okay, you guys gotta watch it because, oh my god, this freaking person, not person, but I classify him as a person, so it's fine. Don't give me a heart attack, please, Kibo. Like, preferably, no heart attacks needed. We already have one with freaking Koki, not Kokichi. Well, Kokichi's part of it, but. We already have it with, uh, Kaido, so, yeah. So many K names in this, it's kind of funny. Okay, but, Kimiko, a non-K name, told us, hey, we should probably go to the dining hall, because Samugi, who has also been kind of climbing the ladder, might have found a flashback light. So that is exactly where we're gonna go. And see what's going on there. Is everyone here? Guys, it's serious. Ah. Yeah, you found the flashback light, didn't you? Let's use it already. Oh, sorry, it's not the flashback light. Huh? It's not. I honestly thought that's what it, this was all about. What's that mean? Then why'd you call us here? Uh, I had to go to the bathroom. Uh, I found something pretty serious. I thought I should tell everyone right away. Pretty serious. Um. So, what'd you find? It's from that one thing. Those letters gone to the found in the courtyard. There's more added to them again. Huh? Oh, the letters in the courtyard. Yeah. Looks like the message is complete now. We can finally read it. And it says... This world is mine. This world is mine, Kokichi Oma. That's what's written there. What? This world is mine. What's that mean? What's going on? Uh, why is Kokichi's name... <sighs> Hey, so that's what it means? It, it's all a prank by Kokichi. A prank. He kept adding to the message just so he could make fun of us. Seriously, what a messed up guy. Yeah, I see. It definitely seems like something Kokichi would do. This is true, but is that all there is to it? When Gonta found... Or when Gonta had first found it, the writing, all it said was... Horse A. Over time, more letters were added to... Eventually it read... This world is mine, Kokichioma. Can we really just ascribe it to Kokichi's pranks? You know... Well, who cares about Kokichi? More importantly, what about the flashback light? Mm. It seems no one has found it yet. Maybe that's Kokichi's fault too. He's probably found it first and hit it. I see. That is possible. Like I thought. We need to do something and find him. Uh, no, there's no bother with him. Or no need to bother with him. The best way to deal with the guys like him is to ignore them and just leave them be. What's wrong? Y you say that, but you were the angriest out of all of us. Uh, no, there was something I was just thinking about. What? Thinking about. I mean, it's still a little too early to tell you guys, but. Leave it to me. Well, just leave it to me. There's no need for you guys to worry. I'll figure this one out. What are you talking about? Figure what out? Hey, I mean, I'm gonna get you guys out of here. Kaido is gonna get us out of here. <sighs> yeah, there's that reckless confidence again. Huh? Reckless? Huh. huh? You guys don't get it. Jeez, heroes are always misunderstood. Mm -hmm. Hero or whatever, it doesn't matter. Just don't overdo it. Of course. Yeah, leave it to me. Perhaps Kaido's confidence is baseless. But it's sort of a relief to have someone so confident in, in at a time like this. A hero. He might really be one. We weren't able to find the flashback light, so we all left the dining hall and returned to our rooms. We definitely don't have time. There's no free time. Oh, hmm. I lied. <laughs> um, never mind. There is free time apparently. So let it let us go ahead. I'm sure Kokichi's locked. I 
I... It's hard, because it's like, Maki's on my list. Because I need to hang out with Maki twice. And that's definitely possible. So we gotta get stuff for Maki. So what we're gonna do then, because we gotta find stuff for Maki... Oh, they're all at the casino. Interesting. Um, is we're gonna go to the school store. And we're gonna get two punching bags for Maki. So, um, this will be a minute... Um, so this will be cut, but we're gonna get two punching bags for Maki to secure Maki. Um, that's who we're gonna go see first. We got both of our bags. Oh, we're solid! I went Maki! Max, right? Here you go, girl! Nekamaru was my first ever character that I was able to get to max. Maki, you're my second character that I ever get to max. Unless Maki somehow dies before we get another free time, which is like... That would be absolutely crazy. And it's funny also, because this is the first time BF has actually made it all the way um, to the... Uh, the final chapter, but then BF got, like, actually dethroned by Maki. It's kind of funny. Kind of funny how that works. He tried to look cool by calling himself a hero, but whenever he does something reckless, we have to clean up after him. Should I hang out with Maki? Yes. Well, We need to take care of him, okay? That's your job as a sidekick, you know? No, I'm not a sidekick. I'm just... Ugh, it's just hard to talk to him right now. I spent time with Maki. Maki and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Maki a present? Yeah, girl. We're going to give you... I think it doesn't matter for this one because we already have given her, like... This is our second hangout. We didn't get one last time we hung out with her, but still. Mm. Hmm. You must not worry a lot when you give presents in situations like this. Well, it's not... Like, I mind. I'll take it. Hey. You look like you wanted to ask something. Huh? I do. Well, whatever. I told you to pretend like you didn't hear anything, but I can't take back what I said. Hey. You're wondering about the, who the girl was, right? She was a close friend from the orphanage. Hmm. A close friend. What is it? Why do you look so relieved? Hmm. Ah, I do. Weirdo. Yeah, you do, and it's gross. Gross. Uh, um... I'm just glad that you have a friend that like that in your life. Hmm. I see. So that's why you're making a gross face. Back at the orphanage, I was a normal kid. She is she angry about something? Sorry. I'm sorry. So what? It's fine. Um Then what did you mean when you said that she took or she would take your place? I see. The scouts had their eyes on her first, not me. Huh? What? Because I had enough talent, but she had even more. She was very kind. A crybaby who easily got lonely, but tried to be strong. If she had been taken to such a place, then she would have lived her life crying forever. That's why I volunteered to go. At the time, I had no idea what was in store for me as an assassin. But I endured the training, and if she had gone through this, she would have died. That's why I was so desperate to do my best. She wasn't just doing it for the orphanage, she was doing it for her friend as well. Okay. Being with her was really fun. We would wear matching outfits, bake sweets, exchange them. We would get into trouble with our teacher because we would talk late in the night. We played house often with the other kids at the orphanage. Uh, she would play as the mom and I would play as the dad. And neither of us really knew our parents, so the only thing we could do was imagine it. Maki. I can't even imagine. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Of course you can't. So there's no point in imagining. But honestly... I can't see myself laughing now like I used to back then. Wow. Okay. Maki's report card has been added. And then we only get the one, I'm assuming. Maki shared more stories about the orphanage with me. Deep down, Maki is just like any of us. There's still... What? What? We get, we get to max her out. We can max her out. Okay. 
That's good. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I'm absolutely fine with that. You know, because then we can focus on other characters. Like, basically, my head is, I need to max out Maki. Maki's number one. Maki's priority right now. Um, but once we, then it, then it's free game. Then I can go whatever, do whatever I want. Which is like, because that way I get the satisfaction of maxing out a character. Whilst still being able to have fun. There's Maki right there. I did not think I was going to be able to get a max out. So I'm pleasantly surprised by this. I thought I was only going to get one. I got two. Maki! Hey. I wonder. Why was the Gopher Project documents in Kaido's research lab? Why? Monokuma must have put them there for a reason. I got a bad feeling about this. Hey, is there anything else we missed? We should check again. Maki and I investigated Kaido's lab one more time. Maki and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give Maki a present? Hopefully the bag works. And maybe it's like... It did. Okay, cool. The close friend you mentioned before. I'm sure she's thinking about you. Hmm. Maki. Nope. She's not here anymore. She died. Huh? What? Died? Well. I like how the what reaction was also my reaction. <laughs> Literally, right? Just, that was perfect. After I finished training, I went to see her, and she died in a car accident saving a child. Uh, oh, um... no. I was shocked. But why did I endure all the training then? But That's right. she probably died happy saving somebody. And the memories of her I kept inside of me. Yeah, are, or that I have inside of me kept me alive till now. Even the whole orphanage. That's why I'll do everything I can to protect that place. Hmm. I see. What is it? You look like you want to say something. Your face is gross, so just spit it out already. Hey. I was thinking about what I can do. Uh, or what I can do. What can I do for you, Maki? What? For me? Maki, you're a normal girl at heart. I want you to live a normal life. I'm... I was thinking you could leave being an assassin behind. Um... Perhaps I could use my detective skills to investigate the assassin cult. This is stupid. That's impossible. Uh, um... You sound awfully sure. Because... The world isn't as simple as you think. It needs assassins to do the dirty work. Who the hell do you think you are? Don't you think you're being preposterous? But Maki, are you actually okay with that? But how annoying. Your question is unreasonable. How do I even answer that? Sorry. Well, Shuichi, do your best as a detective. Why don't you try and find solutions to problems where you don't have to lead to murder, or huh? when, you, when it won't lead to a murder? What? Because the people I assassinate aren't killed for simple reasons. It happens because certain complications occur. It can only be settled with murder. You can try and reduce the complications. Maki pouted stubbornly and, tur uh, and turned her and head. If that happens, I guess I'll have to quit being an assassin. Maybe. No one else can do this. You're the only one who can do it, okay? Even with her head turned, I could see the smile within her lips. So this is how Maki shows her thanks. Of course, I realize the solution isn't that simple. What's the point? Well, you're kind of psychic, so... I shouldn't expect that much from you. But... That goes for you too, right? Aren't you kind of a sidekick as well? <laughs> oh, you just had to say that. Maki's face with a sly grin. I grinned back. I didn't think it was possible, the two of us smiling together. But now... But I know it's because Maki and I share a special bond. And I swear on that bond that we will escape together. Don't say that, Shuichi! Shuichi! Your friendship has deepened. <laughs> A uh, bond, true bond. Achieve the highest level of bond with somebody. Oh, God. You've learned the new skill, financing. We already have that on lockdown. We're fine. We're chill. <laughs> IRL me's got it. Financing, huh? Maki and I parted ways as I returned to my room. Cool. Cool. Oh god, so they so they kept that. 
we're, we're just obtaining undergarments now, and I could have gotten Kaido's this whole time, but, you know, it's okay. I'm, I'm totally cool with this. <laughs> He's undergarments. Ahem. This is an announcement from the Ultimate Academy. The time is now 10 p.m. Nighttime has officially begun. Oh, Mark, it must be an announcement now. This is your chance to strike. Victims, you have my condolences. Will you sleep like a baby tonight or sleep with the fishes? Either way, dreams. It's nighttime. I would have been training. Huh? Maki! Got a minute? Do you got a minute? Hmm. Maki, what's wrong? Well... Kaido asked me earlier to show him my research lab. Huh? Huh? Your lab. <sighs> I might as well show him since I, I know he won't take no for an answer. So you have to come too. She wants me to go. Maki invited me. So I should go. Oh god. I don't trust this. Da 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 da. <laughs> Hers was on the third floor. Yes, it was. I was like, I remember hers being here. Oh. Oh, sorry, I'm late. Hmm? Hmm? Uh, okay. Oh, so you came too. Uh, okay. Yeah. Silence. As if utterly bored by the painful silence, Maki started the conversation. What are you trying to pull? Why did you ask to see my research lab suddenly, Kaido? Ah. Well, I kind of wanted to see what kind of weapons were here. What? What? Why would you want to see my wep- You know- But wow, there's a ton of stuff here. Can you use all these Maki roll? Yeah, more or less. So... But there's no swords of any kind here, Japanese or Western, right? That's true. I don't use swords of any type. Not after I botched a mission with a katana. Hmm. Mm, I see. Either way, I don't feel like the weapons really suit women. Whoa, what? <laughs> hey. Care to explain why you wanted to see my weapons? Ah. Didn't I tell you this morning? I've got a plan figured out. Huh? Oh, what's in the black case over there? As if backing away from the conversation, Kaido headed to the far bookcase. So... What's in it? Is it some kind of weapon? Then... If you want to know, why don't you just open it? Let's see. Kaido pulled something, uh, or pulled something from the brief, or the black case. What is this? A bunch of parts? I see. It's a disem disassembled crossbow. Mm. Huh. So when you put it together, they become a crossbow. That looks interesting. Hey, Maki Roll, can you teach me how to put it together? Dog, what are you doing? Sure, whatever. Sure, I don't mind. Put this and this together. Oh, God. Um, like this? I don't trust this. And then put that other part in the opposite way. <sighs> Wait, that's wrong. Oh, my bad. It goes this way. Mm-hmm. Then next, it's... While watching those two, the memory of a similar scene came to my mind. Oh. Kaido struggling while Maki gave him instructions. Eventually, they succeeded in putting together the crossbow. Oh. Whoa! Since I built it, it became extra cool crossbow. So what? It doesn't matter who builds it, though. That's right. 
It seems like it's a bit complicated, but I think I can do it by myself next time. Okay. Shuichi, do you want to learn too? No. No, it's all right. I sort of understand from watching anyway. Hmm. Then let's put it away. You can easily take it apart by reversing the steps. Are you serious? Wait, do I have to do it? That's right. Who else is going to do it? My bad. Oh, sorry. I don't feel too good again. What? Huh? <sighs> it seems like I'm not 100%, uh, so I'm going to go back first. Wait a minute. Hey. Ignoring Maki, trying to stop him, kind of flood the room. Jeez. I knew he wasn't the type to clean up, but I never thought he would run away, like, with a crappy lie. How annoying. How frustrating. He's the worst. Well. Oh, well. That's just Kaido. <sighs> You're the worst, too. Huh? What? Well. I'm sure you know why I invited you, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, I do. You were trying to get Kaido and I to make up. You don't know? It's not like he hates you or anything. He's just being stubborn. But. But I don't know what to say to him. I... I had no choice. Gonta, if I didn't do something, everyone would have died. I d d don't think it'd be right to apologize for that. Hey! I'm sorry, Maki. I I just need more time. <sighs> I didn't realize you two would require such high maintenance. Sorry. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, this is what happens when, uh... Kaido's involved. No, it's not even Kaido's fault. But, like, uh, like, it's both of their faults, let's be real. But, like, they both have their ideals and their thought processes, and unfortunately they were malaligned in this moment. But, yeah, boyfriend doesn't like to tell anything, and that's just what happens. It's like, gosh dang it, boyfriend. Like, let me just, I will expose all my feelings to you, but, like, you won't touch any of them. It's fine. Like, with a ten-foot pole. But now that she mentions it, I didn't realize it either. I didn't realize Maki would be so concerned about us. Thank you. Thank you, Maki. In the end, I was the one who ended up disassembling the crossbow. After I had finished, I returned to my room. Just like always, we're surrounded by problems. This academy is full of mysteries, and then... I'm worried about Kokichi. And then there's the thing with me and Kaido. All right. I need to make up with him. For us and for Maki. I fell asleep thinking about it. <coughs> oh, please tell me he's in the room and actually going to tell us about our problems. Cough, 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 cough. Damn it. Oh, no. We're just getting a cutscene. Why? Why now? Why? Me? Damn it. I'm running out of time. I can't die like this. Like hell am I gonna die here? I'm trying to think of what kind of like bodily illness causes that. I, I still haven't gone to, to space. Damn it. That was literally disgusting. I was like ready for Monica Theater. <sighs> like, that's my thing. Oh my God, now we're gonna talk about recklessness. Ah, boyfriend, just tell me what's wrong. Let's fix it. <laughs> recklessness is a beautiful thing. Uh, it's so beautiful. I wanna paint, print the word reckless beauty on a t-shirt. Uh, but recklessness is like the stuff that dreams are made of. Uh, it's like what makes you run at full speed with no regard to your limitations. It's what makes you excited by anything. And some say that it's foolish, but recklessness is what caused new events to unfold. It's while you're still alive, live your life so recklessly that it makes you so immortal. And if you haters laugh at, or and if haters laugh at you, let them. They don't appreciate recklessness beauty like you do. Oh God, Kaido. Speaking of my reckless beauty, Kaido. from the Ultimate Academy! Rise and shine, kiddos! It's another gorgeous day for a killing game! So get out there 
embrace your homicidal urges, and have a fabulous day. Monokuma's announcements are actually, like, whack. I'm sure everyone's down to the dining hall, so I should go too. Yeah, probably. I, oh, I keep hitting that button. I think I've hit that button every occasion, every time, when I mean to hit the other button, but that's okay. Um, let's head to the dining hall. Actually, Himiko, let's talk. Let's have a, let's have a chit chat here real quick. We'll get a level 53 hey, off of it, probably. Shuichi. Good morning, Shuichi. Uh, okay. Good morning. I'm still not used to Himiko being so energetic. Mm -hmm. It seems like everyone's gathered at the dining hall today. Since I've been here, it's been a pretty regular schedule. You're right. Me too. I've been eating breakfast every morning mm. now. It's probably good if we kept the schedule after we get out of here. If I do that, then it probably will enrich my magical power even further yeah. beyond. More importantly, it might be because of this schedule, but I think I might have grown a bit. If I grow bigger and bigger, or I'll grow them bigger and bigger. This way, no one will be able to call me titless. Huh? Himiko. Yeah. yeah, nothing. I'll get going now. Oh my god. Himiko. I think my boobs got bigger. <laughs> oh, what the fuck, Himiko. <laughs> Very leveled up. Nice. Okay, Himiko. <laughs> Back to the day all we go. I like, how we, I like how she just divulges this to Shuichi, too. Like, okay. Kokiji's not here. Well, if he was, it'd be complete chaos. That punk. What are you thinking of? Huh? What? Well... You're worried about Kokichi, right? We're all worried, too. Yes. I searched everywhere for him, but I couldn't find him at all. <laughs> sure enough, he's the master at hide-and-seek. He can't be. He couldn't have escaped by himself, right? Well... No, as long as Monokuma's here, I do not think that is possible. Jeez. Like I said, just forget about him anyway. Listen up. Listen up, everyone. I gotta tell you guys something. Finally! Kaido has an idea. It's a little awkward with Kaido right now, but I should listen. Tell me your secret! Um, What's your idea, Kaido? So... Hmm. Oh, yeah. Lacking subtlety, Kaido averted his eyes from me and looked around. You know... Looks like Monokuma isn't there. Or isn't here. Well, I wouldn't care even if he was. Kaido turned his head. Or turned to us, his experience. Expression suddenly serious. Listen up. Didn't I tell you guys yesterday? I'm gonna get you guys out of here. But to do that, I need your guys' help. Please. So please, help me out here. Huh? What? I mean In order to help you guys, I need to work or I need you to work with me. Wait. Hold on. What are you talking about? Um work with you. What do you mean? You got it. Fight Monokuma with me. Huh? Fight Monokuma. Listen up. Now is our best chance. Since the Monokums are gone, the Exocils that were protecting him cannot move. Let's do it. Now is our chance to, to get together and kick Monokuma's ass. Fight Monokuma. I see. That's why Kaido was looking for the weapons. But, but Monokuma probably has more spares. Won't it be pointless no matter how many we beat? <sighs> then all we need to do is destroy them one by one until there aren't any left. But, but we don't know how, what Monokuma's got up his sleeve. Even without the Exocils, this academy is still under his control. Hey. Then... You're fine with the way things are now? Do you guys really want to continue the killing game? Are you okay with that? Listen up. The only way to change things now is to fight. If you want to put an end to the killing game, then we have to fight. Hey if you don't stand up now, then win. But, but we don't have anyone to fight like Gonta or Tenko. Then? Then I'll just have to fight on their behalf. What? What? Well. I know an assassin wouldn't say this, but I'm sick of all this killing. Maki. Everyone! Let's do it. What? Huh? Kibo, you too? I heard it. My inner voice that guides me within. I feel lost. Or when I feel lost spoke to me again. It said, now is the time to stand up and fight. It may be dangerous of uh, it may be a dangerous course of action, but it will prevent future victims. I... Or then I decided that I will fight Monokuma. You. I've been waiting for those words. Very well. I will lend you my power. What? Huh? Were you really waiting for that? Uh, I don't want to lose more friends. It's even more painful than losing yourself. Great, huh? 
That's why I'll fight. I'm not afraid of Monokuma. Yeah. yeah. Okay then, me too. We can't let this killing game go on like this. Hey. You're gonna join as well, Shuichi. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, right. All right. So we all agree that it's decided. Let's do, let's it. do it. We're gonna beat Monokuma to a pulp. Yeah. yeah, let's show him what we're made of. Mm. I won't even need my magic. No. no. I think what if that if you can use magic, now is the time for no. it. And when you guys... Or when did you guys want to start? I am fine with starting right away. Nah. Well, don't get ahead of yourself. Because this will be the final battle. We should make sure that we're prepared. What? Prepared for what? I mean... Prepared for battle, of course. Well, I'll take care of that for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so you can make preparations, but you can't clean up after yourself? <laughs> well, since I was the one who brought this up, I got things prepared, or at least. So if you guys just got to prepare yourselves mentally... All right. The battle is going to be tonight. Once the nighttime hits, let's all meet up at the gym. After that, we ate our breakfast and prepared for our final battle. We separated for now and returned to our rooms. Do, 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 do. Free time with peoples. A fight with Monokuma. It's true that this is our chance, but... What is this sense of unease? It's because Monokuma is probably two steps ahead of us. And Kokichi, too. I can't imagine he'd ignore this. He must be planning something. We have to be cautious. I gotta choose wisely here. Um, well, wisely. I think that, honestly... We're going to go to a character that we haven't gone to yet. I think now we have the ability to do that. Fifth floor, maybe? Yes. Unfortunately, I might be wasting a... I might be wasting a free time. Because I don't necessarily... I, like... What she likes, I'm still unknown for. Or like, with. But I'm going to take a gander and a guess. Maki's the only one left who can fight. I wonder if this is going to be really be okay. This is who I feel like I need to comfort the most anyway. I should hang out with Samugi. Yes. Sorry. Sorry. For being so negative. This is a chance like we've never had before. I'm going to do my best to be useful. I spent time with Samugi. Samugi and I grew closer today. Would you like to give Samugi a present? We'll try. This is what I think she'll like. What is this? Oh, yes! It's a perfect one. Yes! Perfect. I know. I... He would give this to me? Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Those are the only words I can say right now. Uh... You're weird, Shuichi. Huh? Weird. How so? Uh... He wanted to hang out with this... Plain old me when everyone else is so flashy. Hmm. Sumugi, you keep calling yourself plain, but I really don't think you are. No. No, I'm plain. I know it. So you don't have to worry about being polite. I'm not just trying to be polite. Actually. Most people are surprised when they finally notice me. They're like, whoa, where did this girl come uh, with the glasses come from? I wonder why glasses are always associated with plain characters. That's... Well, when you think about quiet and smart kids, you picture them in glasses. But... There's a bunch of athletic kids with glasses, though. Like, in sports animes. You can't! But the characters with glasses never are allowed to take them off? Not even once. It's like... They say glasses are like underwear. I definitely have never heard that before. Uh... Wait. Why were we talking about glasses again? Uh, because you've started it? Uh... Um, oh right. Um, we were talking about how I'm so plain. Uh, okay. Yeah? Um... I will tell you how plain I am. When I go to the crowded store, nobody notices I'm there. When I want to check out, I try really hard to get the clerk's attention. That's... 
That's not so bad. That's normal in crowded stores. That happens to me too. Seems like... When I go to theme parks with friends, I'm so plain they lose sight of me. Uh, um... That's not your fault either. That theme parks can be pretty hectic. It's plain to see. And I always have a sewing kit or and two plain white handkerchiefs on me. Hmm. You consider that plain? I think it's good to be prepared. Hmm. Huh? Why is she making that face? It's like she's bothered by something. Stop! I'm just letting you know, but my list of plain lists doesn't end there. Once you hear the rest, you'll think, oh man, she's so plain. Why is she so insistent with this? Right? First off, when the teacher takes attendance, they'll skip me. So I have to make sure I get counted or I'll get marked absent. Doesn't that suck? It's plain to see. When, then whenever people get to, into splitting in teams, I get picked last because I'm plain. And then when I go to the town on my day off, I get stuck behind people on the street who don't even notice because I'm plain. And then I go to the store and none of the clerks try to help me because I'm plain. Because I'm plain. It's quickly becoming your catchphrase, Samuki. That reminds me. And then, it's not just the handkerchiefs. My underwear is white, too, because I'm plain. Underwear? Actually. Even if I get on the train without the t a ticket, nobody notices because I'm plain. And that is... Also, I can get into the movie theaters without a ticket because I'm plain. I'm going to literally just do the... I'm going to do the snap for it now because it's now our catchphrase. It is our catchphrase now. Wait. But that's illegal. <laughs> Just kidding. I bet I could do it, though, because I'm so plain. I just don't have much of a presence. That's why I'm an international spy. Leave the undercover ops to me. Huh? A spy? Jeez. That was a joke, too. I didn't think you'd fall for that one. Or did you just pretend to? I thought you were more of a jokester than I... Are, are you more of a jokester than I thought? No, it's not quite that. There could be a real spy among the ultimates here, after all. Shuichi. Shuichi. Be careful of cults and con artists. I'm worried you'll be taken in. But Samugi looks like she's having fun, so I guess it's all right. Samugi's report card has been updated. I assumed we'd only get one. Samugi and I parted ways and I returned to my room. If we get another one, I'll just end the episode here because we're already 40 minutes. There's still some time. Whoa! That's that means true. in the next episode of Danganronpa V3, Kelly Carmody will go to, you know, a lovely free time, and then we'll go to nighttime and crazy shenanigans. We're here for it. Anyway, I love you all. Hopefully, you all have a wonderful day. Please consider subscribing if you're new. Love you all. See you then.